What is going on YouTube Baseball Cards 65? I'm coming at you with another video. This is going to be a recap since my last one. Not much um, has happened um, in the way of cards. Um, but I do have some sports, I guess, related stuff. And then I got a couple concert recaps for you guys. Um, first, I was at a yard sale and picked up a bunch of Sports Illustrated uh, magazines and some other miscellaneous stuff here. So first, Grateful Dead. This, um, actually I'll get to the last. That's really cool. Uh, that's my favorite one. So, um, it's a couple other, um, Sports Illustrated from like the late 80s, early 90s. Uh, I believe that's Lenny Dykstra there. That's a cool Phillies one. Um, and then there's a bunch of like miscellaneous ones like this tennis one. Um, what it was was the whole stack for three dollars or two or three dollars, so I couldn't pass it up. Um, so there's those. Now this one I think is really neat. Um, 1965 Wilson. Um, it looks like a uh, catalog of some sort for like football equipment. Um, not really sure exactly what it is, um, but just flipping through it'll have, like, footballs here. Um, just has different equipment, um, different, I guess, models of, uh, whatever, you know, the equipment, like, different models of helmets, different models of cleats, pads, you know, whatever you can imagine. So there's all that in here. Um, this was really cool. I thought, uh, like I said, I didn't, I got all these for like three dollars. Um, this one I'm kind of happy I got. I didn't realize that was, or this was from 1965. Um, the all, uh, all the others were from like the 90s. So, excited I got that. Um, that's pretty cool. Next concert recap. Um, I went to back-to-back -back concerts um, two days in a row, and um, first one was on Friday, um, what was it, the 12th, or, yeah, the 12th, um, and I saw the, Revi ah, excuse me, the Revivalists, they are currently my favorite band, they are really good, I think, um, and live, they are amazing, they um, now, this wasn't an official concert, um, it was more of a radio promotional thing, I don't know what to call it, but, um, for 93.3 WMMR Rocks, I've um, got a bunch of stickers here of that, um, they, um, did a, um, I guess a, it was a, you have to win tickets to see them at, and, uh, this, the venue it was at, the Armour Music Hall, holds maybe 300 people max, um, maybe even a little less, maybe 250, but, um, there were probably about 200 people there, maybe a little more, give or take, but, um, for the most part, it was very small, and, um, I was front row, um, and what it was, I was able to get tickets through a, uh, what they call ticket raid, you have to go to a location where, um, in this case, it was at a, uh, what was it, a, um, 18, or, uh, Verizon store, or something like that, and, um, who sponsored, um, I guess, the radio station, or the event, or whatever it was, and you win tickets, um, I got lucky, won the tickets, mm -hmm. sorry, that was my speaker, um, won the tickets, and, um, well worth it, um, I didn't hear, I didn't know about this until maybe four days before the concert actually happened, and I was excited, because like I said, favorite, it's my favorite band, and um, really excited, so, got the tickets, met a ton of fans, um, who are, the, their fan group is called the Revheads, not to be confused with the Deadheads, much, like I just showed you the Grateful Dead, but um, the Revheads. So that's, that's cool. There was a uh, one of the one of their big uh, fan uh, fan supporters. Um, 
was uh, at this one, and he was handing out these stickers, so that's cool. Um, there were a lot of uh, rev heads, I guess. Um, a lot of their big major supporters uh, were at this um, event, and um, it was awesome. Um, <laughs> I'm still really excited, even after it. But um, anyway, um, first off, it wasn't a like I said, it wasn't like an official concert. Um, it was they did a Q and A session with the radio, um, with the actually the host Pierre Robert. He signed the back of this ticket for me to Rob. Um, he did a uh, Q and A session with the band, and um, really cool to uh, watch that live. And then after they played some songs, they were supposed they originally. Here's the set list. I got a handwritten set list. Um, what is it? Only, I think, nine, ten songs they were supposed to do. I think they did, like, twelve. Um, so they went a little over time, which they were supposed to do a uh, meet-and-greet type of thing with all the fans and, you know, get photos, um, autographs, all that stuff. But because they went over time, um, they played a few extra songs, which was completely okay. That was amazing uh the songs they played and um they uh were not able to do the meet and greet but um because they were actually uh they had to catch a flight for, at the uh, philadelphia airport um to go to atlantic georgia um uh, that was going to atlantic atlanta georgia to play at the shaky knees festival the next day um so um they were already like 20 minutes late um getting out of there but um so i went around to the back uh with a van their uh tour uh, van was um with maybe 10 uh, 10 other people or so maybe a little less um you know got to meet most of the band um i met everyone except the lead singer david shaw um at the time i didn't have a ticket from the sign um, the venue was weird. They take your full ticket when you go in. They don't just scan it or take the stub. They just take the full ticket. Um, and then when you walk out, you're, you can ask for your ticket back and they'll just give it to you. I didn't know that. Um, it was my first time there. I didn't, and I did not know that, so I didn't know to ask. Um, someone else outside had an extra ticket and was nice enough to give it to me. Um, after I met the band. So... Um, there's, I think, five on there. Um, the one band member I just didn't ask to, uh, sign. It just kind of passed my mind. I don't know. I just wasn't thinking. Um, but it's fine. Um, got photos with, uh, some of the band members. And, um, yeah, like I said, awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, <laughs> second favorite or second, I guess, event, concert, music, whatever you want to call it, music event that I've been to, um, of all time, I guess. Um, first one, I think, for me, is seeing The Killers. Um, that was my favorite count, uh, favorite concert. This is probably second on that list. Um, next, since I'm rambling here, um, next, next day I went to a concert again. Um, it was an all-day thing. Um, there was a bunch of bands. It was the Radio 104.5, uh, 10th birthday show. Um, there was, the headliner was Kings of Leon. Um, there were, there was Bastille, um, 1975, Rag and Bowman, Fits in the Tantrum, um, Empire of the Sun. And then, uh, there was also a side stage for, like, the smaller bands, um, and the one I really wanted to see was Unlikely Candidates. Um, and uh, I ended up getting a drumstick from the Unlikely Candidates. Uh, I threw it out in the crowd. Really, really cool. Um, that's my second, or I guess technically third drumstick, second time uh, getting one from a concert. These two came from St. Motel. Um, not sure how to display these, what to do with these, though, because I can't put them in a binder. Um, so if you guys have any ideas, let me know how to uh, 
display a drumstick. Um, <laughs> that would be a lot of help. So, um, yeah, it was awesome. They were great. All the bands killed it. Um, it was an all-day event. Um, also, they were doing a promo, and they were giving out free CDs. Um, now, this isn't just them. It's a bunch of uh, other bands. The only one, only other band I heard of was Iron Tom on here. Um, they're, they're okay. Um, but, um, yeah, overall, awesome event. Um, I'm, for this concert, the birthday show, I was most excited to see Rag and Bone Man. He was one of the openers for the main stage, and he was amazing. Um, that's who I was most excited for, personally. Um, of course, there was Fitz in the Tantrum, who I always, uh, who have always been on my bucket list to see, and they were awesome as well. Um, and um, everyone else was really good as well. Um, I just, a few of the bands, I'm just not big with their music, like the 1975, it's just not my style of uh, music, but um, they were still uh, pretty good. Um, but uh, yeah, that's about it, guys. Um, sorry for the long video. Again, let me know if you have any ideas for how to display a drumstick. And also, um, this was night one of the 1045 birthday show. It's a two-night event. And um, this is the second event's going to be the 18th, I believe. I might, got, I might have that wrong, but... Um, yeah, I might have that wrong, but... Um, <laughs> hopefully, yeah, I don't know how... That, that show I'm really excited for, that's the Killers, Foster the People, um, Kaleo, Andrew McMahon, The Wilderness, uh, Marin, uh, Marin Hill, or Marion Hill, I don't know what, what the band name is, but um, it's someone else I'm missing too, and uh, all those guys I'm excited for, um, uh, Foster the People I haven't seen, they've been on my bucket list to see for a while. Um, the Killers are always amazing. Again, Kaleo, I've seen a few times. Um, Andrew McMahon, I've seen like four or five times. Um, also, I won tickets for the Radio 104 Summer Block Party. They do free concerts um, throughout the summer. And actually, funny enough, the Revivalists are headlining this show for the free concert. So, um, that's kind of awesome, I guess. Um, so, really excited for that. Sorry for the long video. Let me know what you think. Again, drumstick thing, how to display it. Thank you guys for watching. Talk to you later.